Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim's Special Edition. My name is Camel, and today we're going to acquire the unique pickaxe known as Rock Splinter, originally thought to be unobtainable, but as I'll show you, that is not the case. The timestamp for the overview can be found down in the description along with links to my social media and to my other Skyrim Special Edition guides. Be sure to check them out. Now, as fair warning, this item is 100% a collectible, unless you want to have an awful time in game, or you just want a unique pickaxe instead of the standard one, which is understandable. But yeah, it's actually the worst melee weapon in the entire game. And that's saying something, given how many rubbish weapons there are in Skyrim. Actually, it's ridiculous how bad this weapon is. So acquiring Rock Splinter is easy enough. You just need the know-how, which most people don't have, which led to it being considered an unobtainable item. But I will show you how to get it. Whether that's a good thing is another question. So what we'll need to do is come to the small mining village of Shaw's Stone. On the map we can see it is found within the hold of the rift, just to the north of Riften. Once here we'll want to hunt down this man Oddfell. Once you do, speak to him about the local mine. Mining iron takes a lot of strength and special reinforced tools. I must have broken five or six pickaxes in the last few months alone. But now that I've got Rock Splinter here, I can cut through stone like a hot knife through butter. Ooh, Rock Splinter you say? How about Rob Splinter, you know, because I'm gonna steal it from you. And to do this, you will need both the Misdirection perk and the Perfect Touch perk, found at the top of the Pickpocket skill tree. This of course means that you'll need a Pickpocket of 100 to get this weapon, the worst one in the game. Seems like a fair trade-off for sure. So once you have the required perks, sneak up to Oddfell and Pickpocket him. Now for some reason, Oddfell had three Rock Splinters on him. I can confirm that this is not meant to happen. He did mention that he keeps breaking pickaxes, maybe he bought a whole bunch just to be safe. Take Rock Splinter or take Rock Splinters if you find yourself in the same situation as me. So why is this so bad? Well, Rock Splinter. It's got a base damage of 1. It's got a swing speed of 1.3 swings per second, which leaves it with a base DPS of 1.3. Oh, watch out Alduin, I'm coming for you with Rock Splinter. Actually. Rock Splinter would be about as effective as an actual Splinter. Anyway, it's got a reach of 0.7, which is oddly the same reach that a dagger has. Same as the swing speed. It's got a weight of 10, a value of 5. Oh, it cannot be upgraded whatsoever and it doesn't have any enchantments. Although it does have a hidden enchantment, that is, it's wholesomely terrible. So statistically speaking, Rock Splinter has about a 0% practicality when it comes to combat. Now you could just have it in your inventory to be used as a pickaxe rather than carrying the stock standard one, which is understandable. Its base damage of 1 is the worst found in the game. And while that base damage is on par with a knife and fork rare weapons, which you can check out if you didn't know they existed, as I've already done a video on that, but while it shares the same base damage, the knife and fork are far lighter than Rock Splinter, which is far heavier. So even if you do feel like dealing 1 damage, the knife and fork are the lighter option for sure, therefore the better option. Now apparently Rock Splinter was meant to have the same base damage of 5 that normal pickaxes have, but due to some unforeseen bug or glitch, you know those things you never see in Bethesda games, it ended up with the embarrassing base damage of 1. Now if you have the unofficial patch, it will raise the base damage from 1 to 5, making it as feasible in combat as any other pickaxe. And even then, it's still earth-shatteringly terrible. Ah, just to add to its issues, Rock Splinter was also not labelled correctly. But with the unofficial patch, it has been correctly labelled as a war axe, and now benefits from the appropriate one-handed perks. So look, while it is terrible, it's unquestionably a very obscure and seldom known of weapon. Rock Splinter is a sad weapon. Ironically, mostly used to mine materials that will be forged into weapons many times greater than itself. It's the beta of unique weapons. <laughs> it's quite fittingly not rock solid and has about the same base damage that a splinter of rock would have. Regardless, here it is, rock splinter for the first time and last time in action. <laughs> Scratch! 
tell you what. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique pickaxe known as Rock Splinter. I do hope that this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out my other Skyrim Special Edition guides that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now, down there in the old description, you can find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a heroic patron on Patreon. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy. So your support is most appreciated in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon. Au revoir.